Okay. <coughs> What's up, everyone? It is Deity Gaming Ziphyas Vescor here, and today we're going to be covering rotations from the solo lane. So, looking at this map that is in Smite, it's outdated, which is fucking stupid considering it's in the game. As a tutorial for new players under the Wisdom tab, but whatever. We'll, we'll deal with the fact that it's outdated. Let me actually open this in YouTube. Alright, that, bu that button doesn't work. Okay, so, here's your map. It's a little outdated, there's no attack speed buff anymore, these have been replaced with boars. But, well deal, this isn't open either, whatever. The map is, it's close enough to cover rotations. So from here, this is the short lane, uh, so this is the solo lane. This is your dual lane, because it's longer, you can see the towers are more spread out. <laughs> Excuse me, the towers are more spread out here than they are in solo. So, these little circles here indicate the towers. You get your towers here, enemy towers up here. So when should you rotate out? If you're playing a god with a lot of early game pressure, say you're playing Odin in the solo lane, and you have, you've hit 5, and their mid laner is Zeus, and he's constantly at your team's tower line. If you're winning lane and you're ahead, you can come rotate around this way, come over, jump on him here, cage, that's it, get a kill, back, back, uh, back out, go back to solo lane. Or, if you're behind and you want to rotate, you can still do that, but you have to make sure that you keep eyes on the enemy solo laner. Now, rotations are an incredibly difficult topic to cover. Those are just a couple of examples of rotations, and I can't really give you a surefire when you should rotate sort of guide. There's no way I can do that. There's no way really anyone could do that because rotations are always different. They're kind of, they're probably one of the most situational things in the game. But ideally, the time that you want to rotate is when you're winning lane, for one. That's That makes it a lot easier to rotate. You have wards in your jungle and their jungle. So that way, even if they're um, sentry wards in their jungle, regulars in yours, so that way they know or you know if they're coming as well, the enemy solo laner, you know if they're coming. And if you're at the at the enemy solo laner's tower line and he has to clear a wave, and you get that huge, what is it, like five, six seconds before their solo finishes clearing the wave and you've started rotating, so you'll probably be about here by the time they leave lane. So, stuff like that. If you're ahead, if they're pushed into tower, if they're, um... If they're trying to invade your blue and you come back around this way, you know, stuff like that. Rotations come with experience. There's no way to really give you a guide on rotations. It's just impossible. They're far too situational to really give you an effective guide of when you should rotate. Rotations are something that you'll learn with experience. I'm... I have over a thousand hours in the game, and... Rotations are still an incredibly difficult topic, even for me. Even for solo laners in the SPL, rotations are difficult. Because they're just, they're incredibly situational. And the only time you should really rotate is if you're 100% positive that you can get a kill. Because when you rotate, you're losing farm, you're losing lane pressure, and you could, you could potentially get your speed, blue, and backs taken away if you rotate out at an inopportune time. I mean, that's really all I can tell you about rotations. Um, just you want to make sure that you have the advantage in every single aspect of that rotation. So your jungle's cleared, you're ahead in lane, you have full boots and the other solo laner doesn't, or you have full breastplate, or you can get into an ult and you can drop a ring, or you can single out one, per one single target in mid lane, kill them with your team, and get out and go back to lane without losing any farm. It's really just... Making sure that you have the advantage. Making sure that you have the advantage in every single aspect of that rotation and that your team knows that you're rotating. Because if your team doesn't know that you're rotating, then you might be coming in here 1v2ing their mid and support or whatever, and your team's back here. So, rotations are, will come with experience. They're going to be incredibly difficult for newer players and for experienced and average players as well. They're just, they're very situational and 
it'll come with experience. So the more you play the game, the better you'll get at rotating, and the more opportunities you'll have to steal away something of the enemies, be it a kill, or buff camps, or gold or fire even. So, I've been Zephyas Vescor, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.